Good afternoon, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. And bear with me, I got a huge headache. Going to the Dallas Stoke to get me some ibuprofen. I want to talk about something that I think we have a little bit of an unhealthy relationship with. And it's death. For some reason, I feel like this video is going to get demonetized. I don't know why when you talk about death, your videos get demonetized. I think, first of all, it's probably because companies don't want to affiliate with or don't know exactly what context you're talking about. But I think the other end of that is that we don't really know the extent in which we have unhealthy relationships with the whole idea. As a lot of you guys know, I lost Boo in 2019. And I'll be honest, I have not dealt with it completely. I'm not hiding from it or anything like that. But for the sake of like, being able to function, I do try to put it in the back of my mind as much as possible. Um, the only thing that we ever get to experience in this life is, some people say two things, death and taxes, and that's not true. But death is something that we're all going to experience. And I've lost some people, um, not very many though, to be honest. When I was 16, my brother shot himself in the face and people believe different things or whatever. And there's, it's not even about that. My committed suicide as far as like what the papers say and everything. And now, uh, a few years back, my grandmother passed of old age or whatever, you know, and that's okay. And these are people that were fairly close to me, not really, um, not hugely close to me. Um, and then Boo passed. And Boo was the closest person to me I've ever had in my life. You know, the second most, meaning that the two closest people to me in my life are Elijah and Boo. And equally close, for sure. But the last few years, me and Boo got really close and we did some traveling together and just different things. Um, I know there's people out there that are going through some really hard stuff, losing people. Um, I know there's even people in the group that have lost husbands and wives and different things. And that's really difficult, man. You know, every love is a little bit different of a type of love, if that makes sense. If you understand what I mean. And losing somebody really special to you is really hard. A lot of people believe a lot of different things out there. And there's nothing wrong with what people believe. There's nothing wrong with you thinking people be reincarnated. Or, um, or if the universe takes the energy and kind of just whips it around or does whatever. Or even, you know, others believe... The body just goes in the ground and just sits there. And the life we get here is just 
exactly that. It's just that life. I think either way that you think about it is perfectly acceptable and there's no wrong way. At all. And you should never feel bad about that. At all. Something that changed when Boo passed away was I wanted to believe a little bit more. Not in like a religious aspect. I just wanted to believe that his energy wasn't done. You know, he still had a chance to float around out there. That the universe would do something for him. The night he passed away, it was raining really bad. And... Now I associate the rain with Boo, like he's talking to me or something. It seems so fucking dumb when you think about it, you know. Or the color blue or... So many different things, you know? I think it's okay that people pass away. I think it's something that we have to understand that is not inevitable. We will all go there. And we have to understand that we have to keep like moving forward. Not dwelling on it. And don't think for a single fucking second that that's like a heartless comment. That doesn't mean don't think about it. It means don't dwell on it. One life lost should not be two or more. My son was generally a pretty happy person. He had some stuff going on and I know that and that's okay. I'm sure we all do but I know he is such a sweet kid never would he have wanted you know his family to be sad you know And I think if you're out there and you lost somebody, one of the most important things that you have to remember is they probably don't want you to be sad. And they know that you love them. And just because, you know, you try to get out there and you be happy or whatever, it doesn't make you a shitty person. I don't know what it makes you. It doesn't make you bad at all. I guess what I'm trying to say is life is hard. And when you lose somebody, sometimes it gets a lot harder.
For me, I know I have become hyper-focused on everything but that. And the reason I say that is because if you dwell on things, they become harder to deal with. It's kind of like with healthy living, there's this thing. It's like a disorder. When you become hyper-focused on your food and you become overly focused, overly focused, overly focused, but you're still not getting anywhere, The most important thing that I could tell you, you know, obviously, you know, losing somebody that close to you, turn your fucking alarm off. Jesus. <laughs> You're gonna be massively affected. There's no way around that. But I think one of the one of the best things that you can do is those people that truly matter. Now, you know the dickheads of your family and stuff like that. Maybe you can make amends. Now, remember, just because you're family with people does not mean that those are the best people for you. Does that make sense? Just because I've known somebody 30 years, 40 years, or whatever, does not make that the best person for me to be around. I don't know if you ever grew up with certain people, but just because you grew up with kids does not mean you have become the same adults. And the same goes for family. A lot of the times it can be the most difficult people to be around. And you shouldn't feel that there's some type of thing that you owe the people that you that raised you or that you be around. But in the same sense, you got to make sure that you do make amends with these people because if you do love them, it's important that you know and they know because the last thing you want is somebody passing away and not knowing. You're going to have guilt. You're going to have sadness. You're going to have all those regular things. But if you can change something now, I think that's really crucial while you're alive. There's no doubt in my mind, aside from the... the the normal guilt that a parent would have of losing their child. There's no doubt in my mind that. You know, Boo knew I loved him. Like to death. I think also. Don't ever dwell on the fact that people are not going to be around forever. I did not think my kid was going to pass away at 18. I thought for sure, i that's one thing I took for granted. I thought for sure these kids would be in my life for the rest of my life. And I would never, ever have to live a day without seeing them. And I was very mistaken. Very mistaken. Hug your kids, man. Just tell them you love them. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be worthless. You don't, none of that. You know? Just be you. 
hug your family, you know, make sure you, that people that are closest to you, that matter to you most, are understanding that you love them so much. If you're living a life where the people around you aren't the people that you want around you, change that. Get your own place. Get the fuck out. Start a new life. Life is, you're only going to get like one shot at this. And if anything can be learned from my brother and Boo and maybe my grandmother is maybe it's going to last 80, 80 years. Maybe it's going to last 26 years. Maybe it'll last 18. So I think the biggest thing is that we need to focus on making sure that we make the most out of every single day. The people that we love, the people that we lose, and the people that we remember would not want us to have bad lives. So I think most importantly, just understand that you can't change things that happen and that you got a beautiful opportunity to be around some truly amazing people. I don't know if this helps, but it helps me to talk about sometimes. So. That's what I do.